Welcome to Her Remarkable History. Remember to support our channel, please subscribe. The failed attempt to kill Elizabeth I, the Rodolfi plot. Throughout the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, the Tudor Queen faced many threats to her throne, but her greatest rival was Mary, Queen of Scots, who would be backed by Catholics across the country to oust Elizabeth, who was a Protestant. Mary had for some time been imprisoned by Elizabeth, following having to flee Scotland after her abdication, but the plots to assassinate Elizabeth in favour of Mary, Queen of Scots, eventually resulted in the Queen of England ordering the execution of the former Queen of Scotland and her first cousin. Mary's execution did not go well, and it was something that Elizabeth regretted for some time, and she believed that Mary's execution would prevent her from getting into heaven, and she even worried about this on her deathbed. But one of the earliest plots involving Mary was the Rodolfi plot, which was formulated in 1571, and it was masterminded by Robert Rodolfi, an international banker who managed to cross many countries in Europe to gather support. But what is the story of the Rodolfi plot? To begin with, the background to the Rodolfi plot heavily features Thomas Howard, the fourth Duke of Norfolk, he was a cousin of Elizabeth I, and he was the wealthiest man across England. But following her imprisonment in 1568, many were considering Thomas Howard as a suitor for the Queen of Scotland. As at the time, Norfolk, despite having immense wealth, wanted further ambition and recognition in society, and by marrying a queen, he would have had significant amount of power. Howard could easily have been a figure of revolt also, as he may have had one eye on becoming King of England. If Mary would have ousted Elizabeth I and also married Thomas Howard, then many would have backed Howard as an Englishman to become the King, as he was also incredibly powerful and wealthy. He agreed to support a revolt and a rebellion in the North which would rise up in favour of Mary, but then he lost his bottle. After the plot was discovered, Howard was imprisoned inside of the Tower of London for nine months, and Elizabeth freed him after he begged for mercy and confessed, but he was then kept under house arrest. But by 1570, Pope Pius V had excommunicated the Protestant Queen Elizabeth I, and he issued an order to all Catholics to try and depose and even assassinate her, the majority of English Catholics ignored this, but Elizabeth then became much more hardline towards Catholics. But one man who formulated a plan inside of Europe was Roberto Rodolfi, a banker from Florence who was an ardent Catholic. He had been involved in the planning of the Northern Rebellion and was planning to overthrow Elizabeth. When the rebellion failed, he said that foreign help was needed to restore Catholicism in England and to put Mary, Queen of Scots, onto the English throne. He then roped in a number of conspirators to help, and he came up with a plan to have the Duke of Alba invade from the Netherlands with a force of around 10,000 soldiers. They would then back up a rebellion in the north, made up of dissident Catholic nobles, and then, when they reached London, they would murder Elizabeth and Mary, Queen of Scots, would then marry Thomas Howard. Rodolphe believed that half of the English peers and MPs were Catholic, but this was an oversight. When Thomas Howard found out about this, he assured Rodolphe that he himself was a Catholic, despite the fact he had been raised a Protestant. But Mary and Howard agreed to the plan, and with this, he could be implicated. Rodolphe would then try to recruit other important parts to the plan. There were many conspirators involved, including even King Philip II of Spain, who welcomed Rodolphe to the court and discussed the plot, and then he supported overthrowing Elizabeth and her assassination. But the plan involved the third Duke of Alba, and that he would lead a Spanish army based in the Netherlands to land at Harwich or Portsmouth, and then they would head to London to put Mary on the throne, seizing and killing Elizabeth. But the Pope would also make Rodolphe his agent to England, and he was not aware of the plot, but he gave approval for information to be discussed with other European Catholic kings. Mary, Queen of Scots, though, had a strange role in the plot. She knew Elizabeth I would not grant her the wish to restore her to the Scottish throne, or to send her to France, and she tried to get her freedom. 
She wrote to Rodolfi soliciting Spanish help, but she said she had respect and friendship with Elizabeth I. But by consenting to the plot and to marry Thomas Howard, she was guilty of treason. And when the soldiers arrived in London, they would free Mary and she would then be returned to the Scottish throne and would take the English throne with Elizabeth out of the way. But Elizabeth I had built up a network of brilliant spies and spymasters who formulated an intelligence service centuries before its time. They learned of the plot against her life and the fact European dynasties were involved in the plot against her. She sent warnings across Europe and Charles Bally, the messenger of Rodolphe in England, was arrested for carrying messages and he was then tortured and he revealed the cipher of the coded messages that he was carrying. But then, on the 29th of August 1571, two of Thomas Howard's secretaries gave Thomas Brown a draper a bag of silver coins and to be sent to an official in the north. This draper got suspicious and he found £600 in gold from the French ambassador sent to Scotland on Mary's behalf, along with ciphered letters. He knew the Duke of Norfolk was under suspicion and he then reported this to William Cecil. The letters were deciphered and letters were then found from Mary Queen of Scots also. But further interrogation took place of Thomas Howard's servants and they were tortured and a number elicited confessions to the authorities. Thomas Howard denied any charges against him and he was then taken back to the Tower of London. When he got there he admitted a significant amount of involvement regarding transferring money to Mary's supporters in Scotland but Thomas Howard was then brought to trial and he was sentenced to death for his involvement in the Rodolphi plot and at sunrise on the 2nd of June 1572 he was led to a specially made scaffold on Tower Hill. He spoke to the crowd that he'd gathered and he said that he deserved to die but was also innocent but he said that he had been tried as honourably as any nobleman hath ever been in this land. He was told to finish his speech quickly as the hour of his death had passed, and he ended his long speech saying that he was not Catholic. His attendants removed his doublé, and Thomas Howard then laid his head on the block. The crowd fell silent, and with one single strike his head was taken clean off, and the most wealthy man in England was considered a traitor. A Spanish ambassador after the discovery of the plot was also expelled from England, but Rodolfi would never return. He was a steady banker in Florence, and... He managed to play politics in England and had been the centre of a crazy plot to kill the English Queen that resulted in the execution of the most senior nobleman across the country. The Pope paid a huge sum of money to bail Rodolfi from jail in 1568, but he worked as a spy for the Pope. His banking connections allowed him to build relationships with the Duke of Norfolk, but also with important Catholics, and he used banking as a way of travelling and delivering information for the plot and conspiracy. But the plot ultimately failed. The Duke of Alba, who was meant to lead an invasion of England, believed Rodolphe had no idea what he was doing, and that he was not a man who could lead such a plot. Roberto Rodolfi would escape execution as he never returned to England. However, many historians in the centuries after had doubted whether the plot would ever have worked. To begin with, it was said that the number of Spanish soldiers with the invasion were too insignificant and would have never caused the overthrow of the Queen. Also, Rodolfi had no idea where Harwich was, where the troops were meant to lead, and there was doubt that Thomas Howard was not even Catholic but instead was a man who was just thirsty for more power. Also, he and Mary, Queen of Scots at this point, had both been married three times before they proposed marriage, meaning that the pair restoring Catholicism would have been hypocritical, and the Pope was even willing to grant Mary an annulment to allow this to happen. But the Rodolfi plot was a European plan to invade England and to bring the assassination and overthrow of Elizabeth I, the, the Protestant Queen of England. It was a plot which was wrapped in religion, but it would have seen much blood being shed on English soil. It did have its problems though, and for this it's probable that the English army would have defeated the invasion before it got anywhere near the English capital. Thank you for watching and a support. Please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.